Hello everybody, thanks for watching this video. Today I want to show you what happens when you grow an adult houseplant in perlite for over a year. Now the baby plants that you see here are just propagating in perlite and usually once they are established I pot them up in soil or pond. But what would happen if you just keep them in perlite permanently? So one year ago I chose a random one leaf philodendron cutting I propagated it in perlite and then I kept it in perlite for over a year now. So let's see what happened with it. So here you see the result of my experiment. This plant started off one year ago as just a one leaf cutting from a philodendron red. And here you can see the mother plant that I keep on a shelf below the ceiling. And each time the plant reaches the ceiling, like it does at the moment, I cut it back and propagate it. Now for some reason this plant loves to be cut back. So since I got so many cuttings off it, like these four here that are growing together in soil, I use the spare one leaf cutting for my experiment. So, one year ago I put this random cutting immediately in a big self-watering pot with just perlite. And I put it right here where it gets some indirect light from a grow light below. And then I just left it alone to see what would happen next. Now on the right here you can see the only leaf it had from the start. And now I have to say that it took some time for this plant to take off. But once it started growing, there was absolutely no holding it back. It started putting out new leaves all the time and I think it has 23 leaves by now. But the funny thing is that all these leaves remain the same size and are quite small. As if this plant is pretending to be a bonsai. But at the same time it's pretty clear that this philodendron is just loving its life in perlite, although it never gets any fertilizer. By the way, there's also a baby Mykens companion plant in the same pot and it's also pretending to be a bonsai, it appears. Now I think that the leaves on this plant stay small because on the one hand it never got any fertilizer and on the other hand it's not growing on a moss pole. But at the same time, this plant is the living proof that you can permanently grow adult plants in perlite indeed. Which in a way makes sense since it's basically growing in water because the perlite is kept wet all the time by the water in the bottom of the self-watering pot that it's in. Now, when it comes to philodendrons, a lot of people want the biggest leaves possible, but in my opinion, a tall philodendron with just small leaves, like this one, can also be a pretty sight, so I would say bigger is not always better. That's all for today's video, thank you very much for watching, if you liked it, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel. For now, I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye.